How you doing? So today, what I've got for you guys is a review of this. Um, this is a Neewer portable three-section stretchable handheld microphone boom pole with standard 5 8 27 thread uh, and it adjusts from 3 to 8 feet. This number is MW7000 on Amazon. Runs for about $53, something like that. So uh, this is a pretty good beginner's boom pole. Um, I like it. It's got foam grip on each end. Um, the two sections of foam are, let me see, eight inches each. So these, each one of these sections are pretty thick um, foam. They're not that stuff that's just going to peel away almost immediately. They feel pretty good. Um, it does also come with uh, three of the Velcro straps to attach your, um, your microphone cable to. Whatever you use it for, um, I've got this so I can actually do uh, videoing. I'm going to take my action cam out to the uh, out to the disc park, and I'm going to play. Uh, I'm going to film the the disc golf course out here um, in Amarillo. Um, using this, that way I can get it to. I've got a a, a gimbal, three axis gimbal that I can move up and down with, and. Um, I can actually get some height on it uh, actually with, with this completely extended and I'll, ex I'll, I'll include a little video of that I can get it over the top of my house so I can actually see my neighbor's house over my house with it of course I have to extend my arms up to do that too um, it's pretty light uh, altogether it weighs um, one pound nine ounces so not too bad it's a that's that's pretty darn light for for something that can be at up to eight feet it completely closed it is 36 inches long um, it's the diameter of it is 1.6 inches so um, it's pretty it's a pretty good grip uh, again closed it's 36 inches long when you fully open it it's 66 and a half inches long so it gets out there pretty good um, each section is 33 inches and a total of completely open is 98 inches. So, uh, I'm sorry, I misquoted that. 66 and a half inches is with the first um, section extended and then 98 inches is with all, with both uh, sections extended. So, it, it, it gets out there pretty long. 90, <laughs> 98 inches is is pretty good. It's close to 8 feet, so it's about 8 feet. So, um you know, by the time you extend your arms all the way up, you can hold that thing up there pretty good. So, and again, it, it only weighs um, a little bit over a pound and a half, so not too bad. You're, if you have a small little action cam or something like that that's screwed onto the end of it, you're talking less than less than two pounds probably with batteries and memory card and everything. You can get that up there and you can hold it there almost all day. These boom operators that, that do the videos uh, for, for professional videographers, they'll hold those things for hours at a time. So doing interviews and stuff like this. You spin it and you can lock it in place. It does, each one of the sections does not turn, um, whether it's locked in or not. Um, but it, it, will, it will reach out there. So um, it's a pretty, pretty good boom pole. I, I, I like this one for, for, for the price of it, uh, considering that some of the pro versions were up in the $160, $250 range. Um, this one is made of aluminum, so it's not quite as light as the carbon fiber boom poles. But um, considering that mainly what I'm using this for is when I'm doing these kind of videos, I will be using this for my, my shotgun microphone in, in, the, in my house. So that's what its main purpose is going to be for. I will be doing some, some of the disc golf courses and maybe even some of the golf courses if they'll allow me to. Um, I'd really like to be able to do some reviews of the golf courses and, the, and I guess what you would call a flyby or fly through or something like that. I think it's the neatest thing that the golf courses have ever had done. And uh, around here, they don't have that. We don't have um, professional drone pilots that will go out and do the golf courses. That's a big deal around because <laughs> of the, F, uh, the FAA and, and, and everything. Um, the, another big thing is, is we have an international airport here. So uh, my, don't, Emerald is not a real big city. I think it's 270,000, something like that. So uh, to be a drone pilot here, uh, it's, it's not going to happen there that easily. So 
Um, again, something like this will make up for that because with the gimbal, you can attach the gimbal on the end of this and um, you can act like you're flying. I can get it, I would say a good, maybe 15 feet in the air roughly. So um, with my little bitty action camera that I have on there, the Akaso um, V50 Pro, I can put that on this thing and, and control it with my tablet, with my phone, and I can get it up there and that gimbal will stay exactly I want the way I want to. I can control the gimbal with my phone too if I want to. And um, it'll do a pretty good job. I can keep it, it you can have it uh, set for horizon and it will stay pretty much exactly the way you want it. You can go down to the ground, go all the way up in the air, make those differences and, and stuff. So it's, it's pretty neat. It does come with a, uh, yeah, decent assortment of uh, connectors. Um, what I have here is the, the quarter inch, like what you would have on a, uh, a tripod for your camera. So you, and you can take that off. And then you've got the, I believe it's the, that's the quarter 20. And then under that is the, the three eighths 27. And then on the outside of this is the five eighths. And I'm not sure the threads on this. Um, but it's a little different. I went ahead and ordered some different ones because this has quarter 20 here and then quarter 20 going into the pole, into the end of the pole. So it's really kind of weird. And then also on the butt end, you also have the um, 3 8 27. So you can do all kinds of things with this. Um, but for the main purpose of a, of a microphone boom, um, I use this uh, again, I think it's 5 8 and it's, it's a standard um, microphone clip is what goes in on, on this. So I have shotgun microphone that I use and I have the shock mounts for that. So um, this works perfectly. I already have one on my, my shock mount uh, clip that I put on here. And then of course the shock mount or the uh, shotgun microphone goes onto that. Um, it's the kind with the, the big round head with the bands in it and it, it slips in between those bands. So that works really well. This uh, again, you have to have C stand or a, uh, a decent, duty, heavy duty, not, not necessarily heavy duty, but a, a full duty light stand in order to connect a, a grip. And then uh, it's going to be like a two and a half inch grip, I think is what it's called. And then you have to have the, the boom pole adapter, um, which is kind of just a, looks like a fishing pole holder that this kind of sits under and then on that holds it kind of like this. So um, you have to have those two things. I do have them. I'm going to do a review of those to go along with this next. So um, I'll probably actually include them on the same video. Uh, so that makes it a little bit easier so you can get a little bit more out of that. But uh, anyways, um, that's enough for this video and we will be back with uh, the, the grip and the adapter to hold this. This uh, little key grip thing. Um, this is a little bit different. Uh, um, this is the, again, it's a Neewer, so that's spelled N-E-E-W-E-R, and it is a Neewer mic boom pole mounting adapter with two and a half inch grip, uh, boom so, uh, with boom su pole support holder. So this is the boom pole support holder, and this is the two and a half inch grip. Um, this will slide over the, the tip of your C stand or light pole, and then you screw that on there, screw that down tight. This can be adjusted. Oh, that's pretty tight. This can be adjusted to different angles. Of course, this just slides in one of the grooves, but then you can you can rotate it uh, to put it in any angle you need to put it into. Um, just like that, and then tighten that down. So if you if it's on the boom pole like this, you can twist it around however you need to put it, and then just tighten that down. So that's why they call it a grip. Anyways, um, this thing is total of two and a half inches as I said it weighs 12 pounds so this is a good thick honking piece of steel okay if you have a chintzy little light stand it's barely going to hold it um, I've got one that's a yeah, kind of medium light duty um, it holds this with the boom pole and my shotgun microphone and cable and everything it holds it fairly steady I do have a I think a six pound sandbag on the bottom of the uh, of the light stand, it it moves around quite easily. So I, I'm I'm really considering really considering getting a heavy duty uh, C stand to make sure that I can hold that in a lot tighter, make it a lot less bouncy and whatnot. So 
um, consider that. These run, um, actually this piece right here will run you anywhere between $15 and $25 roughly depending on where you go. Um, this piece is a good $30 by itself. If you go on Amazon, this newer piece, I think I paid $35 for the entire setup. So um, it's a good deal. And like I said, this is heavy duty powder coated. Uh, it feels like it's cast steel or something, but anyways, it, it feels good in the hand. It's it's heavy duty and you don't have to worry about breaking that or anything. It's, it's gonna hold on to it. So um, that's all I have for this for now. Um, again, if you have any comments or concerns or anything, please leave those in the, in the comment section. And as always, don't forget to um, like and subscribe if you feel the need to. All right, thanks a lot, bye.